So I'm going to install the wires that go to the turn signal and uh, the little label here means this is the left side and the blue red wires go to the left so I just stick them through the holes and run them down until they come out the other end which is uh, really straightforward you don't need to have a pull string or anything like that these will slide in uh, nice and easy without any difficulty so on each turn signal will be a ground wire which is brown and this is the left signal so that's the blue red wire so this is the reflector with the bulb and on the back are the two terminals this one is the ground wire and this one is the hot wire so for the left side the hot wire gets the uh, blue red and then the brown just plugs in and then that lays in like this and then there's the reflector and the bottom of the reflector has a drain hole so you want that at the bottom and that just attaches with two long screws into the housing like that and you tighten them down and there's usually a little uh, gasket along the edge of the reflector and the housing which adds a little water sealing on the assembly now the front of the fender has two holes in it and there's two metal pins on the back of the battery box that it slides into I have installed some small rubber hose into the holes in the fender and then they'll slide over the pins the pins will go inside the hose uh, that helps keep from chipping and wallowing out the plastic on the fender so it keeps it nice and tight and I think protects it from being abused now the fender mounts in the frame through a bracket here and a bracket here so it slides in like this and then this butts up against this bracket and then the back butts up against the other bracket and the other thing that goes on on the very back is the uh, toolbox so it's mounted with the same hardware that holds the rear of the fender onto the rear bracket so this is the front of the fender that goes into the front uh, bracket on the frame and the way that mounts is there's a metal plate that is uh, inside the fender that fits like that and then there's a hex bolt and a fairly hefty flat washer that thread in from the bottom like that to hold everything together now on the other side where the bolt sticks through there we go then there's a uh, rubber grommet that fits over the bolt and it fits in between the fender and the underside of the frame bracket and then on top of that frame bracket where it pokes through is a flat washer and a locking nut so that's how the front is attached to the frame now the rear of the fender mounts using the same method with the flat plate under the fender and then the uh, hex bolt and flat washer however the hex bolt is longer on the rear than the front and the reason for that is that it also mounts the toolbox so when the bolt comes through the fender just like on the front there's a rubber grommet that goes against the fender and then the underside of the frame bracket and then this goes on through the box like that and inside the box is another metal plate that goes over and then there's a lock nut that fits on there so that's how the rear uh, fender bracket works So at the very end of the fender uh, is where the 
tail light and turn signal bracket mount and the mounting system is the same with the metal plate inside the fender and a hex bolt with a flat washer coming up from the bottom. Now the hex bolt for the tail light and turn signal assembly is the same length as the one for the front. However, it's a little bit different mounting system up on the top because it comes through and there's no rubber grommet and the turn signal bracket slides over and then the uh, tail light slides over that. Then inside there's a uh, wave washer and a regular nut that attach through the tail light assembly to hold everything together on the back. So I've got the two uh, turn signals installed and then what I need to do is connect all the wiring that goes inside the tail light assembly. So this is the tail light assembly and the lower bulb has a marking of 5 watts and the top bulb has a marking of 21 watts. That means this is the brake light and the smaller bulb is the tail light and the wires that go to it will come in through the bottom of the tail light housing and there's a rubber grommet to seal it. But it's easier to show how they go inside on the tail light assembly if I just uh, show it like this. Now there's two brown ground wires and they go on the two center terminals like this. There we go. And then you have a gray black wire and a green red wire. Gray black is parking so it's on the bottom bulb and green red is brake light so it's on the top bulb. So this is green red and that says 21 watts so I have it correct. So now I'll take these off put them inside the uh, housing and wire them all up again. So this is the bottom of the tail light assembly and this is the line that goes in to the wires to run the stop light and brake light through the grommet and then this is this, the branch of the harness that goes to the turn signals and when it mounts on the uh, back of the fender it's going to go like that so this uh, metal tab will hold the wires tight against the bottom of the uh, tail light assembly. On the right side of the rear fender are three holes and they're used to route the rear sub harness with all the wiring for the tail lights and turn signals on the outside of the fender and they're held in place with a uh, little uh, plastic bracket that presses into the holes and captures the wiring. Um, by the way, these are not available from BMW anymore. This is where the rear wiring sub-harness plugs into the main harness. And then here's the first uh, cable hanger. And then the second. And then the third. And then the wiring runs down along the side of the fender and back up into the tail light assembly. So on the bottom rear of the fender are two holes on each side and therefore mounting the mud flap and it fits on the inside like this. Now it's secured by a Phillips screw and a grommet that go through and go up against the fender like that. And then on the inside is a flat washer and a lock nut that holds everything together. Now the license plate bracket mounts here. There's two holes at the top and one at the bottom and uh, they have a oval head that recesses into the back of the plate and then on the other side inside the fender is a flat washer and a locking nut to secure it. Now on the side of the bracket is another bracket and that's where the reflectors will go on 
and uh, they mount in a similar manner with a flat washer on the stud and a locking nut. So the tail light's working and the brake light's working. And the turn signals are working. So I think I've got the fender installed and the electrical system is uh, working just fine. I've got the rear wheel mounted again and uh, the fender's on and uh, it's almost looking like a motorcycle. A few more things to do but we're getting there. 